What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you the top game releases I'm excited about that are coming out later this year. So, let's just get into today's video. Up first is one that already came out a couple months ago, but in my opinion, I'm excited. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it in November, maybe December. It's one of the games that are on my mind to get, and that is Far Cry 5. Honestly, I've never played a Far Cry game. I've been watching a lot of gameplay from it. I do love the cult aspect in the game. I really love the idea behind the game that it is in America, and there's a whole bunch to it. You can pretty much do anything in the game and it looks really, really interesting. So it's going to be a purchase on my list. I'm really hoping to get it around November, December. Next up is Telltales, The Walking Dead, and it is the final season. I have every Walking Dead game that is from Telltale series. I still have to play the last one. I didn't even get to it yet, but I do have it on my PS4. This one here, I'm probably not going to purchase when it first comes out. I've never really purchased the games at full price from Telltale just because they're just story and in a couple months they're usually on 50% off or they're on for PS Plus anyways. So that's whenever I usually pick them up. But they're still fun. I love the story behind it. I really think that even though it is the last season, I hope that they go back and they're trying to do stories kind of like the Michonne one they did where they tell stories of individual uh, people within the Walking Dead game. I really wish they would go back to season one and show us what happened to Glenn. I think that'd be really amazing to do, but that's just my opinion. I'm really looking forward to see what happens. It kind of looks like Clem is going to die later on in the game, according to the trailer, but I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. But it's going to be really interesting to see where it goes and see what happens if we're going to be left not knowing what happens. I would really hate that, especially since they already said it's the last season. Next up is Fallout 76. Again, this is a game that I may or may not purchase. It is one that I might potentially wait if I'm the only one among my friends to get it. I might just wait until I see a lot of gameplay stuff here on YouTube from it. I might wait till it's on sale maybe in March. Hopefully it'll be on sale for 50% off, something like that. The one thing that's driving me away from it, I've always been a fan of Fallout, but the one thing that I don't really like is multiplayer apparently there's no quests apparently you can't interact with things in the game other than mutants and animals and stuff like that that's going to attack you you can't just go up to anybody and just talk to them and try to bring them back to your settlement so to me i love the aspect of quests that really had a purpose in the fallout series for me but now it seems that they're going more like an online aspect watch the recent trailer and it looks pretty good but i kind of want to see what the aspect is going to be i hope that they put quests in it at some point but that's one thing that i might not be interested in if they don't have quests i'm not going to really want to play the game really but hopefully as the game comes out i'm going to be seeing more and more from it so hopefully my mind gets changed Hopefully I do purchase it, but it might be a game that I wait until it's on about 50% off, maybe around March when it comes on sale. At least that's what I'm thinking. Next up is one I'm extremely excited about, and that is Overkill's The Walking Dead. I've already mentioned on this video that I'm a huge fan of The Walking Dead. That game to me looks so freaking good. In my opinion, it kind of looks like what I thought Last of Us was going to be, at least their multiplayer aspect. I don't know if any of my friends are going to be getting this game and I'm going to be able to get... I don't know if any of my friends are going to be getting this game, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the online aspect that it shows in the trailers. And I'm really hoping it's kind of like an open world zombie game. I think that'd be very interesting if they could do, where you could find ammo, find food, and find all that stuff. And also have kind of like a settlement or an area, a safe area in that, and you find people and you bring back. I think that'd be very interesting if they do. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like whenever I purchase this for it to be a gaming series. I think that's what I really want to do with it if I do purchase it. Next up is Spider-Man. I've always been a fan of superheroes. I love Marvel. Spider-Man was one of my first superheroes that I really drew myself to. I really love that Sony brought out this game. It's very interesting. It looks good so far. The graphics look amazing. The gameplay looks amazing. And it looks very interesting. The one thing I like that they are doing, and they already said this months ago whenever they were creating it and developing it, is they don't bring anything from the comic books 
or anything from the movies and kind of recreate it. It's all original. Some of the storylines might be influenced from the comics or from the movies, but it's nothing reproduced. They're not going to go and take a scene from a comic book and reproduce it in the game or from a movie and reproduce it in the game. It's all original. A lot of the characters are coming over, of course. That makes sense. They're going to continue with the same villains that Spider-Man had. But everything is original. The stories are original. And that's what I'm really interested in. That one there, I'm pretty sure is going to be a series here on my channel. Hopefully in January, that's whenever I'll put it out. I might get the game around November, December, and I might start trying to record videos and try to start them in about January. I think that'd be interesting and something I could do for you guys. But I'm extremely excited for the game. I love the superhero aspect. Next up is Battlefield 5. I'm a huge fan of Battlefield, always have been. I honestly can't wait for the beta to come out because I love that their beta is free. So you really get to try the game before you pay for it. I think that's why Battlefield is doing so much better than Call of Duty is because they don't have to pre-order their games to in order to try it. You can just go on the open beta, try it out, and that's why I bought Battlefield 1 and that's probably why I'm going to buy Battlefield 5. I love that it's in World War II. I know a lot of people said, oh, they're just copying Call of Duty because Call of Duty made a World War II game. No. Battlefield first made Battlefield 1, which was took place in World War 1, and they already announced after that game came out and it started to be such a success that their next game was going to be based in World War 2, and then the next year, Call of Duty brought out a World War 2 game. Now, Battlefield, whenever World War 2 came out, Battlefield only does a game every two years, and that's kind of why I love it too. I don't want to buy a game every single year. So I know if I get Battlefield 5, I'm going to have it for two years and I'm going to play it for two years. It's not going to be having to buy another one next year. And I think Battlefield 5 is going to be a little bit better than Call of Duty World War 2. And the reason for that is because Battlefield does more of the history aspect. You're going to have more of the vehicles that you can drive. You're going to have more of the battles from World War 2 that you're going to be playing in. And it's going to be bigger maps and that's what I really enjoy the most. I can't wait. I'm going to hopefully be putting that on my channel as well. But I'm a huge fan of Battlefield. I know I'm not getting Call of Duty this year. I'm not getting Black Ops 4. I honestly hate the futuristic Call of Duty. I'm not a fan of Call of Duty anymore anyways. So I'm not getting Call of Duty anymore. I think I was done with World War II. But Battlefield 5 looks so amazing. And I can't wait to freaking get it. And start playing it. Especially for this channel. I'm a huge fan. Last up is WWE 2K19. Now this would be the 15th WWE game in a row that I've bought. That's right, 15 years of WWE games for me. The one thing I really love and I think it's interesting is the updated roster is going to be in it. A lot of the new matches online might be improved. But one of, my, one of the things that I've really decided on for getting this game, I wasn't really going to get this game, but I wanted to get it not only for my collection, but for what they announced. And that is they're bringing back a game mode that has been in a WWE game for over 10 years and that is the GM mode they're rumored to bring bringing that one back for 2k19 I really hope they do because I'm so ready they took out universe mode which didn't really have a purpose but I used to be playing that all the time I still play it for 18 at the moment but to me I really hope they do do that I hope they have GM mode because I think it'd be a huge sell a huge selling point as long as they do it right and I do love a lot of their other matches I think showcase is rumored to be coming out they have a lot of good superstars in the game, and I can't wait. So I know I'm going to be getting it as a hard copy. Next year, if I get 2K20, that is going to be probably a digital download, and it's likely not going to be purchased from me until it's on about the 50% mark. That's usually around May or June that they do that, but I see it on sale right now, so I'm probably going to wait until that time till I get 2020. So this game is going to honestly last me over a year and a half about whenever I purchase it, so I can't wait to do that. But these are the top games that are being released this year that I'm going to be putting some of them on my channel. Some of them are just for me, but I can't wait to get them. What do you guys think? What are you guys looking forward to the most that is going to be coming out? What games are you going to be buying this year? Let me know down in the comments. I really want to see what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.